The Ellen Theater in downtown Bozeman. If you come here for a performance, this is the way you get in. However, the scenery and the costumes, they come in a little different way. That's actually around back. In 1919, when the Ellen Theater was booming, just like is going on now, the scenery, though, would be brought in by rail car here. The scenery would be taken in this door, as would the trunks full of costumes. Now, the scenery was hung in the fly, 50 some feet up in the air by ropes and raised and lowered by sandbags. Interesting note up until just about a week ago, those same ropes and sandbags were still being used. It was 3,400 feet of hemp rope that made everything work back mm -hmm. there. And the sandbags, uh, it's, it's crazy how the, the system would be. You know, you'd see it in an old movie where a sandbag would fall on somebody's head, you know, mm -hmm. backstage. So we've got all those sandbags and pulleys and just the gears. The, the electrical panel alone is uh, about uh, maybe eight feet tall by six feet wide. It looks like something out of a Frankenstein movie. But all these artifacts uh, we're dismantling and we're going to be selling to help raise money to pay for the project. Luton acquired the Ellen in 2008 and since has made improvements to all the patron areas from plumbing to electrical. That just left the stage area. Uh, all the rigging, everything that the audience doesn't see, that's above the stage. All the lighting, where the scenery goes, backdrops, curtains, everything, that is all uh, been removed, mm. uh, 1919 ropes and sandbags and cables and pulleys, and, and mm. that uh, will all be replaced with a very nice upgrade. Modernization will also result in upgrades to safety, but doing 2023 work in a 1919 space will require some additional effort. Yeah, uh, the, the beams actually have to be brought in in pieces, mm -hmm. and they'll be get they'll put them up to where they need to be, which is about 55 feet up in the air, mm -hmm. and weld them in place. Mm -hmm. So uh, <clears throat> that's a project for sure, by all by itself. While all that work may sound daunting, Luton says he plans to have these doors open for regular performances by the middle of May. In downtown Bozeman, Chet Lehman, MTN News.